Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, making workspaces work for you. Adobe applications have had workspaces for a long time and quite frankly, not enough people are using them. They don't, I guess, see value in them. If you call yourself a Lightroom user, then you're using uh, workspaces in a modal kind of way. You actually can't work in Adobe Lightroom without working in a workspace kind of way. Well, Premiere Pro has a work, uh, work area bar now at the top where you can easily get to your favorite workspaces. And it's so much easier to update, save, and make and reorder all of the workspaces. Let's have a look. So right up at the top, this is akin to going to the workspaces um, up here. And there's an actual workspaces bar at the top. And that's what that this bar is giving you. So if I click on assembly, it moves my panels around and shows me the ones I need. And for assembly, it's primarily doing quick edits. So I have my program monitor. I don't really need uh, my source and I've got my direct um, timeline in here. In the editing mode, it's what uh, you're more familiar with, with source and program monitor timeline over here. And when you make a mess of things and turn things around and create something awful or even accidentally close things up, uh, well, you can always go back and reset that. And what has been changed now is reset to saved layout. It's the same keyboard shortcut, but it resaves that layout. So we're back to um, um, the original layout that we had before. Now that being said, let's go through a few of the other ones. Here's the new color uh, workspace, which gives us our library. And you can see over here on the left, the library, I've saved a bunch of looks that I could literally drag and drop these looks on top of these clips from here. On the right is our Lumetri panel, and we've got scopes and we've got any number of scopes that you could uh, actually have. So if I wanted to, I could have all uh, four of those scopes showing up inside. In our effects, it gives us, of course, our effects settings and our effects controls, uh, breaks them out so that they're easy to get to. And again, the library down in here to save those. And then our audio settings, which brings up the wonderful track mixer, which tends to be hidden. If you're in the editing mode, this track mixer is something that you can't find. Now there's two little buttons over here on the right, the little uh, fly out menu. Uh, which gives us reset, save changes, and save a new workspace. And then anything that goes beyond that is uh, in that little uh, menu here. So this is meta logging. So let's go, uh, actually, I want to create a new one. Um, I like color, but I find that I want to get to my Lumetri panel. So I'm going to drag this to the right and save it beside the scopes. Make it skinny because I really just want to get in here and reset that. So if I now have my scopes here, effects controls, and Lumetri panel in the window menu workspace and save a new workspace, I'll call this Colin Color. And now it shows up directly inside right here. So much easier to get to and remember. And if I want to, there's also keyboard shortcuts for all of these. So Alt Shift 3 will get me that or on the Mac, Option Shift 3. And if we go to Edit Workspaces, this is a huge benefit. Here we can see which ones are in the bar. So there's the one that I created, Colin Color. It's in the bar. And if I wanted to, I could reorder this and drag mine right up in the front. It won't change here until I hit OK, but it will once we get out of here. There's an overflow in a do not show. So you can drag a, a something over here that won't show. So maybe I don't want the color anymore. That's not showing. And now instead it's mine. I click OK. There's my color. Color doesn't show up. Now I can jump back and forth. And if I go back over to here and make a change, like let's say I do something crazy like this, if I go to the window workspace and use that reset to save layout, so Alt Shift 0 or Option Shift 0 on the Mac, it's going to go back to my previous setting. This one is, is it's just clearer to understand because 
you're going back to the last saved uh, setting for my specific workspace. Much, much better. Back in the workspace menu, uh, we can save changes to this workspace. So if I did want to do something uh, interesting to this, so let's say that um, I didn't want my libraries here and I close that panel and I close that panel and I have my effects in here. If I now go to window workspace, save changes to this workspace, then my color workspace, so if I go back over to editing, back over to my color workspace, you'll notice the effects are showing in there. Now it's so much easier to update. In the past, you would have to rename, I would have to save a workspace and rename it exactly the same name over top of it and it would ask me if I wanted to replace it. That's kind of a pain. Here, I'm just resaving those settings on top of that. Much, much easier. Um, you can also save a new workspace as I uh, did. And then there's also the option to import workspaces from projects. And that's a sticky setting. So once I have that on, it's going to stay on. What does that mean? That means that um, if I've never changed any of the, the workspaces or panel settings and I've created 100 projects, anytime I open them, it, you won't see a difference. But if I'm sharing my project with someone else and maybe they like to have different panels showing up in different organizations, when I open their project, it's going to open their settings and it's going to put their, their workspace in my workspace panel. If you like that, great. I hate it. I want my workspaces the way that I want. I don't want someone else's workspace showing up that I have to clean up. All right. So the new works. Uh, Workspaces bar at the top it will give you a lot of options to quickly jump between these tools and then a lot of times it will show you tools that maybe you didn't know were there like the track mixer. So hopefully you found this informative. If you have then please click on the subscribe button to video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user then there's a special link to a URL down in the description to get your free 30-day trial. Till next time I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.